So, what are you doing? It is about two minutes to 8 a.m. And I thought you might come along for a ride. Morning, gentlemen. Got a couple things I'm actually want to talk about. So, that'll be good. <laughs> Let's see if we can put the timer on here. That'll be extra special. Good morning. There we go. Now we're all set. All right, let's go. So, I wanted to talk because I'm sure it's so exciting for you. <laughs> I wanted to talk about Stevens monthly medication getting. Good morning. His Capra for his seizures. I've, uh, it's, you know, this ongoing saga, right? Me, you know, trying my very hardest to get it every month and just coming a little bit short every single month because I just can't get somebody to give me a straight answer and and consistently you know everyone give me a straight answer on how exactly I'm supposed to get it done good morning because I have paperwork that I have to I have to upload and get from Publix pharmacy and you know all kinds of stuff that I have to do and then I have to call them and make sure that I talk to somebody with a brain so they will follow up and make sure my request has been seen by someone that who can actually approve it. Good morning. So, you know, if you follow the channel, you know that, that it's just, you know, it's been an absolute nightmare. <laughs> um, but it's gotten a little bit better, you know. And uh, I think... I may have finally cracked the code. I think I finally got it. We'll see. We'll see how well it goes. This, you know, after I've done this, the, the November will really um, tell me. Uh, will tell what, you know, how the prep has made it good or not, not still the same as it was. So here's what I did. I fig finally figured out that even though I got the uh, the approval for Stevens Kepra way late, I mean, I had to go, you know, I had to uh, um, do emergency uh, medication from the pharmacy because I didn't have his, and he has to have um, his medication every day. He just, he has to, he can't go without it. Um, so anyway, I did it, I, I got it on the 6th of October and the, and that's when I got, you know, the approval for October. So any kind of medication that he would have needed after, you know, after I got that approved, it would have been free. <clears throat> to me which is nice because it's extremely expensive in either case um, but I was thinking and, and my sister-in-law said this as well if he's approved for the whole month then if I put in, because I need it right at the beginning of next month, right at the beginning, I guess, of each month, I should say. Um, if I need it 
you know, if I can, if I can put in for it and, and Publix can put it through in this month when I've been approved, you know, through the whole month for, for medication, then will they allow it to go through? Because I figured they had some kind of, you know, filter or something like that so that, you know, I couldn't do that because he's not, you know, due for the medication until the first of the month. Good morning. So I figured for sure they wouldn't, right? I mean, with all, with all the crap that I've gone through, I was sure they weren't going to approve that. But I, I, I figured, hey, you know, because otherwise what I have to do is write exactly on the first of the month. I've got to get, get down to Publix. I've got to make sure I get their, uh, their receipts printed and printed correctly. So I have to go to the right people. But I'll talk on that in a second, too. Um, and then uh, bring it home and upload it or ask uh, Jennifer's sister if she'll upload it. She does it. I don't know why I can't, but she does it. She does it perfectly. So, anyway, <clears throat> I have to do that, I, and I have to hurry, and then as soon as I upload it, I have to, I have to have a whole day, because I have to upload it and all that stuff, and then I have to, um, good morning, I have to have it dated for that day, for, uh, that current month, so I can't get it before the month. I have to ha get it for that month, dated with the date of that month, <laughs> and showing uh, um, the 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 amount due in a specific spot. Because if it's in another spot, that doesn't work. <laughs> There's all kinds of hoops I got to make sure. But I think I've got them all. I think I've got all the hoops under control. And then uh, and then as soon as I upload it, I have to call them. And what that takes is the rest of the day because you don't get through to them um, for easily a couple hours. Easily. You just stay on hold. So that's, that's what I have to do. And I have to do that process anyway. But what has changed is that I don't have to go nuts right at the beginning of the, the month because... They, they approved it. I got it yesterday. I got his Kepra for next month. Yesterday. I, it was like I, I completed a friggin' marathon. <laughs> and won. <laughs> oh my god. It, it was just truly amazing. It, it really, I mean really. I was, I was crossing my fingers and my toes and my arms and my legs. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, but it's done. It's at home, sitting on the counter, ready for next month. I'm just, I'm thrilled. But here's another part of the puzzle. The reason it's, it's done is because the freaking amazing women at um, the pharmacy at Publix... I don't know. I've said this before. They, they loved Jennifer. They loved her. All they do is talk about how wonderful she was. And, uh, well, and they're right, but they always take care of me. I mean, they always take care of me. They take care of, you know, they'll call anybody or they'll do anything for me when it takes, when it, uh, when we're talking about medication, they just, and I know that's not their job. They do whatever there, there, there was, um, a couple of them. The, there's a pharmacist, uh, the, or I guess the pharmacist there, um, real pretty lady. Um, she's amazing as well as, uh, a couple of staff members, um, who are also ladies that, that are just amazing. <laughs> just amazing. And, uh, so I went in, <clears throat> I went in, um, yesterday, just after work, 
um, to see because I put I put in for the for the medication a few days ago, and it looked like uh, you never can tell, but it looked like every other time I, I did it, it's in process, and it says something crazy like you know I, the the uh, I have to get another prescription because my prescriptions are out or something like that, you know whatever whatever the lingo is. In either case, it said the same thing it, it usually does. So I wasn't looking forward to it, but I thought, you know what, maybe maybe um, I can ask them to try to put it through and, and maybe, maybe it might work, you know, because of, uh, you know, the thought that I had, because it's, you know, it's covered, so why shouldn't it? But, you know, anyway. So I walked in and I told them my name and she kind of perked up a little bit. And I said, I'm Stephen Roberts' father, and blah, blah, blah. And before I even said anything, she said, it's ready. <laughs> and she was all happy. She said, it's ready. And I went, wait a second, it's ready? She said, yep, it's ready. I said, oh my God, you don't know, I'm so happy, and blah, 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 on and on, right? And, uh, cause I just couldn't believe it. And, you know, I, I said, God, you guys, you know, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You know, and, and she said, I w I've been looking for it. I, as soon as, as soon as I see it, um, I try to, I, I just start trying to put it through and trying to put it through. Cause that's all that you, you can do. You can just keep going and keep going and keep going until it finally goes. But nobody, you know, come on. Somebody isn't going to, going to go into their job, and I've worked retail forever, and and somebody isn't going to go into their job, you know, kind almost looking forward to, to doing something like that, right? It just doesn't seem right. <laughs> I'm very jaded, but it just doesn't seem right. So, she says, yeah, she says, all of us do. And I went, wait a second all of you do. She goes, yeah, all of us do. She said, she said, as soon as his name comes up for his Kepra, we just all go and, and, you know, get it through, get it through. So I guess the, the word has been spread. I'm, I'm guessing because it was, it, unless, listen, because this lady was, I've seen her before in there, but she's not one of the two people that that stuck in my mind that have have given me all kinds of crazy help but it it seems that she's been part of it too and maybe more than than just you know those three which makes me feel so good it really does i mean how great is that i listen i've been in 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 retail management for 30 years i guess and and I, I'm about the, the most jaded person about uh, uh, people being honest and, and trustworthy and, and, you know, all that stuff because people just aren't, <laughs> especially in retail. They just, they just aren't. So that's very difficult for me. The good thing is... Hold on, I gotta concentrate. Going down this friggin' road with cars going 40 miles an hour. Come on, come on. Hey, buddy. All right. So anyway, there's this lady that that this is kind of a new lady, a new lady that for the you know to go in this elite group, <laughs> and maybe more of them. You know, I don't know. Um, it was just really nice. It was nice to to hear that that. Um, they really care, <laughs> you know, and, and 
you know, I'm sure that they do that for, for more than just me. It's not just me. They do, it just makes me feel like it's me because all they do is, is talk about how great Jennifer was and how, you know, they will do anything for me because, uh, because of how great she was. And, and, and it makes me feel more, you know, more better. Yeah, more better. That's the right English. <laughs> um, makes me feel better because, you know, Jen's gone now almost... Gosh, almost a, uh, a year now. And, uh... I... It, it makes me feel good because she's still affecting me in, in a positive way. You know? Through those people. <laughs> you know? Seeing how great she was. And that's just cool. I kind of relish that kind of stuff. Because I miss her so much. So, anyway, on that note, let's see. What else we got? Um, I went and tried to get the. Um, get rid of this, uh, this, uh, clickety clack that I have, you know, that I've told you about the, uh, the, um, chain rubbing. Good morning. The chain rubbing against the, uh, one of the idlers in the back. Um, instead of rolling over it, it rubs. Well, I went and, and attempted to fix that. And I think, you know, I, I fixed it for the most part. Um, I just, all I did was loosen it up. It, it, it wasn't, um, damaged. It wasn't damaged. I, I was so surprised, <laughs> but it wasn't damaged in any way. So that's wonderful. I just loosened it, loosened it up a little bit. So, so the pulley actually turned, um, much better. So it's, it's much looser, much easier to turn now, which is good. I think, Oh, a swamp. So I loosened that up, and I still hear it. I still hear it going across those, uh, the idlers. But it's because it's plastic, you know? It's not, uh, it's not made for that. The, the, uh, well, it is made for that, but it's made for a motorcycle or a, a little mini bike or something like that, um, that you can't. It, it, you can't hear that over the, the sound of the motor because it's a gas motor. So it doesn't matter what it sounds like, right? It's just sturdy. And that's what I was looking for. I was looking for sturdy. I wasn't looking for quiet. Now that I have it set and I have them working and working how I want them, I can think about what I can use to quiet them down. Because you get, you know, you get used to any sound. So I'll get used to it. But anybody that's riding with me, especially somebody that's on a recumbent, uh, especially somebody that's riding on a finely tuned recumbent, <clears throat> it, the sound, any sound that my, my, uh, my quad makes will just make them crazy because they, they'll think, oh my God, you know, what has he done? So, what, all I need to do is just, now figure out what to do to make it quieter that's all and I've got a couple ideas that I can employ we'll see
so the idler is is pretty good I think I had a couple of uh, skips I call them where it comes comes off the chain um, sometimes I'm not, I, I haven't really narrowed down when it does specifically um, but it's when I'm giving it giving it a little gas you know giving it the beans a little bit and I put it on a little bit too hard it kind of skips I think what happens is the uh, there's not enough lube on it so it kind of doesn't go smoothly around it kind of cups in one in one or kinks in one area as it's going around the um, what's gonna call it the um, the sprocket so when it gets around to the top it releases like this straightens out and gives me a, a big jolt um, where I think oh god I've, I've broken something that's how big of a, a jolt it gives me <clears throat> But it's not. I think it's just because the chain isn't bending as well as it should. And I need to give it more, more lube. More of my wax lube. I think that's what, what it needs. Anyway, we'll, we'll find out. We'll see. So that's been, uh, that's been what's going on with me. Oh, oh, you know something else? That same lady that, that uh, I talked about at, at the public pharmacy, she said that uh, her brother works at Harbor Freight. Not the one that I work at. He's, he's the manager at the uh, Jensen Beach store. I work at the uh, Stewart store, so it's not the same. I would have liked, uh, before I met everybody at the Stewart store, I would have liked to uh, work at the Jensen store because it was uh, it was closer, um, and that's that's where I applied for originally and and applied multiple times with the help of of. Uh, uh, my friend Daryl that works with me at, at the Stewart store as well as the store manager of the Stewart store um, calling the the store manager of the Jensen store um, to no avail just you know he just he didn't want me but she said she said hey you know she doesn't know about any of that stuff but good morning but she she told me hey why don't you go and and I, I said oh I, I wanted to go there originally because it's it's closer um and she says oh well why don't you go and and talk to my brother he's you know he's the store manager and blah 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 she's still even you know she wanted to help me with something else <laughs> after helping me with all the you know with all the rigmarole with uh with steven's medication so you know i'm just i don't know i'm just happy with them they're pretty pretty amazing people there Hope, hope, hope they don't leave because <laughs> I'll be lost. <laughs> Other than that, I've I've gone on uh, I've gone on uh, a few rides without you. Now, don't get jealous. Don't get jealous. But I have. I've gone on a few of them without you. Because I just, you know, sometimes I just feel like I need to go out on a ride by myself. And, and I don't want to set up the camera and the, the mic and stuff like that. Although it's, you know, listen, it's not, it's not rocket science. It just takes more time. That's all. When I want to go, I want to go. That's all. Coming up on your left, my dear. Have a great day. Um, but anyway, you know, sometimes I just want to go. And it takes me half an hour anyway to do all my little, you know, checks here and there. Little system checks, you know. Pre-launch. <laughs> So, anyway,
Morning. But the, the quad has, I mean, the quad has been running so well. Oh my God. I just, I can't say enough of how, how great it's been. I've been, I've been doing a little, little bit more different, I guess. Different, not more. Different maintenance on it than any time before. Coming up on your left, my dear. Have a great day. Take a little spin around Alley Park. See if we can see the little alley. We got some ducks. No alley on the bank. Hanging out. Oh, that's it for you, peeps. We'll go down to the end here and we'll end the vlog for you. Good morning. Let you get on your way, I guess. And I'll get on mine. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Good. How are you? All right. Beautiful day. Oh, yeah. That's for sure. Huh. Okay.